In this scene we can see Wonder Woman go up from the British trench and cross no man's land towards the Germans. She throws off her coat to reveal her superhero outfit, which is considered scandalous for the time because it shows off her shoulders and thighs. We see bravery and strength from her in this scene, which are characteristics which action films often associate with macho, male heroes. The men in her team who are in the trench are mortal and are rightly scared but they are inspired by her leadership and charge after her, saying she's taking all the fire. Even the character who is suffering from PTSD overcomes his fear in this scene. In this way the film shows that bravery and strength are positive traits that everyone can aspire to, not just hyper-masculine men. The violence consists of lots of shooting, mostly at Wonder Woman who is able to block the bullets. Then the other hero characters, American, Scottish, allied soldiers, shoot and kill the Germans. We see the Native American character throw a grenade into the enemy trench and kill a lot of soldiers. There is no blood shown and it's not graphic at all, the killing is very M-rated. It is presented as justified violence, the audience is supposed to cheer and be happy that the Germans have been killed. Once they have started the violent ball rolling the other soldiers join in. The film's message is that war is bad and that innocent people suffer when nations fight. Unless it shows violence as exciting and entertaining, we see slow motion fight scenes which are intended to be fun to watch. Near the end of the clip we see Wonder Woman flip an armored car over, showing supernatural strength. Again, this is something that Hollywood often associates with macho male characters so it is refreshing to see it here with a woman in the lead role.